Now, did you and your husband ever swing before or do anything like that? Or this is a total one-off? We learned that my husband, like, swashed me with other men. And oh, other or, men. Or oh, I now see. that part oh, okay. is too far. I'm Woody. That is our newest full-time member of the show, Gina Grant. Good morning. Menace is here. Hi. What we got Seabass right there. Yeah. Sammy. Morning. Good morning to you. And then, uh, really, the man of the hour is Greg Gore. Oh, boy. Huh. Good morning to you, Greg. Good morning, Woody. All right, so we're looking for lesbian stories. Ladies, we're asking you, and you can call in anonymously. This is all for the enjoyment of Greg Gorey <laughs> and just the pure joy that he gets. It's exciting. When these women call in and share the story about their most lesbian experience. It doesn't have to be, like, full-on lesbian relations. Just the most right. lesbian thing that you've done. And Greg's looking for people who aren't full-time lesbians. Preferably, these are yeah. these are people who uh, just felt a little bit naughty yeah, and maybe, decided to maybe tipsy or, dabble. Right, right. dabbling is yeah. the best. You know, a lot of times uh, we we've heard stories where it's always usually drinking. Drinking is hot tub. Hot tub is always a common right. denominator. Weekend away, like a yeah. girls' weekend. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I had this best friend. We would always hang out, and I thought she was always really pretty. And you know, things like right. that. We were at a cabin. Yeah. And yeah. 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 And one so thing it was led just to another. yeah, it was just a curiosity thing. That's what really does it for Greg. Even mm. though he's gay, he loves lesbians. It's odd. What too. is that? I don't know. I can't explain it. I, <laughs> it's just always been part of my psyche. And then I have all these scenarios in my head. I've told you about the pillow fighting one where uh, right. it's the cliche mm-hmm. where they have a pillow fight at a sleepover and then the feathers are wafting down and then <laughs> oh, they say yeah. to each other, let's not fight, let's mm. kiss. Yeah, let's we did it all the time. <laughs> and then I always envision them. You see it in movies a lot where a woman will just wear nothing around the house other than a man's button up shirt. <laughs> Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The you know, boyfriend's like, shirt. Like the boyfriend's shirt. Yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. like getting their coffee and they're wearing the boyfriend's shirt. And it's always a button up shirt. And I always picture that for some reason. Like women huh. are, uh, on a weekend away, like, oh, let's but go. But they brought t- their boyfriend's button down shirt. But for some shirt reason, they right. have this big button down shirt and they're yeah. all hanging out. And then they're like, oh. For some- just in case a lesbian experience breaks, breaks out. out. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, be exactly. they'll be ready. They'll be ready for you know, Greg's fantasy. I don't know if you would consider this a lesbian experience because it was not sexual, but my old roommate and I, when when I first moved here, we would walk around the house in just our underwear, like no top or anything, and like hang out, and like play guitars, like watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> play yeah. guitars topless? Yeah. I don't think that's too crazy. Because yeah, it wasn't naughty. I mean, yeah. but we what? had windows. <laughs> you didn't make out. No. But yeah, we, all day though, not all day, but just like, like for a while. And for would while. you walk out and one of you just didn't have a top on, so yeah. then the other one would be like, "Oh, I'll take my exactly. shirt like, too." What am I doing? I'm overdressed. I mean, <laughs> that, that's a good start, right, Greg? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a fantastic start. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, I mean, if you're, you're sitting there playing guitar and stuff, sometimes. and then all of a sudden, like, well, you know, we should make out. Like, if you're going topless, no. I guess I'll go topless. Yeah, yeah. right. If there was no making out or you know, leaving oh, something, count. something. Oh, so the day will come when we do this and there are no ladies to share the lesbian experience yeah. but that's why we don't do it all the time right oh it's new lesbian too. experiences happen all the time first times all the time mm-hmm. and uh we're asking for the ladies who have had a lesbian experience tell us about your most lesbian experience but you got to be able to tell the story in a way uh just in case there was like a five-year-old around right but you tell in a way that uh, they wouldn't be any wiser as to what's going on. Thanks a lot, FCC. Yeah, nothing yeah. too mm-hmm. graphic. Yeah. Are women self-conscious about their boobs? You would hang out topless. I don't think they Was are. Really I'm not. In general? <laughs> no. Is there anything? Okay, so here's a question. Because, you know, guys hanging around other guys, like in a locker room situation, it's always about penis size. Right. Always. Is, yeah. Is there anything? The that, is, what, what is that for women? <laughs> you know what I think it is? And I don't know, Sammy or Morgan, if you agree. I think it's like perkiness. You know, like where do they sit okay. on you? Oh, boobs. Like, yeah. Okay, so you know it's not I mean? the size; uh, it's just the perkiness of I them. Think, I think that's more what it's about. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely not the size. I've never really thought twice about another yeah. girl's. That's what I'm saying. So, like, what is it about? Like, so is there like a like if they sit like kind of high equivalent? So that's the idea. Or, yeah, they're at your up. knees. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. What What is it? I think nipples too. Oh, nipples. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like the older I'm getting, the more I'm like, wow, nipples are so different. All my friends have different nipples, you know? You know what your friend's nipples look like? Yeah. <laughs> you do? Like, Gina, How? yeah, you just walk around top with sometimes. Yeah. This is really? like a revelation. I mean, not all the time, but my closest friends, yeah, I've seen their bodies and they've yeah. seen mine. Nice. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Okay. And what are your favorite kind of nipples, Morgan? <laughs> um, I don't know. I wouldn't know how to describe them. A lot of my friends have pierced nipples, like which pepperoni, I think is weird. like pepperoni size, or like big old baloney nipples. No. Well, Everyone my preference, I don't like the balonies. 
Yeah. How many of your friends have you kissed? Just one. I've only kissed one girl. Just the one? Just one. Have you ever had a lesbian experience? Not officially. I told you I just did one in a performance at a play, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. All right. So, ladies, have you had a lesbian experience that you could tell Greg about? This is all for Greg. If you love Greg, you'll you'll share it with him. Tell the world as well. All right. And if you want to call in, 877-44-WOODY is the number. 877-44-WOODY. Call us and tell us. You can be anonymous. We're not going to ask you where you're calling from. All we ask is that you tell the story to Greg in a way that if there was a five-year-old hanging around, that they uh, would be none the wiser. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you, FCC. Yeah. I, read, I read online there's a big lesbian meetup in uh, Palm Springs this weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh. Greg, you should fly on it. <laughs> I just found a website called lesbiannews.com. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, have some fun facts, which we'll get to. Let's Ooh. go to Anonymous. Good morning, Anonymous. Oh, hi. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so tell Greg about your most lesbian experience. What happened? So I was at a friend's house, and she was having a bachelorette party for another friend. And suddenly I was told there was going to be a dancer coming. Okay. And the dancer came and was female. I didn't oh. expect that because it was not a lesbian wedding. Right. Uh, so it was very unexpected, and I nobody warned me. And it was very fast that she was not dressed anymore. Uh-huh. And she was very friendly, let's say. With everybody. And some people, uh, at the end, I, I forgot this part, uh, she disappeared with one of the um, prize babes oh, into a really? other room. They yeah. had a little nice. private party there. So she's being all provocative, doing like lap dance type stuff? Yes, oh, she wow. was. Who and, and I was that? a little tipsy. <laughs> I okay. didn't expect it. And I had been drinking all night. Uh-huh. And but, it was just a, it was a unique experience for me. Did you partake? I didn't go in the room with her, but I did get to dance. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh you got the dance. Were you yeah. kind of hands off, or did you get a, Did you offer anything back? Uh, I was more hands off because I was not fully comfortable, but it was definitely a, a, something I I didn't not enjoy it to say. Oh, now, did you what see are, any kissing or making out or cupping? Um, I saw other girls partaking in that, but I did not. Mm. Really? Now, does uh, pique your interest at all? I mean, do you have any uh, any future interest in this uh, <laughs> type of stuff? I mean, I'm not writing it off. She was very attractive, so I like that. I'm not writing okay. it off. I all didn't. Right. I didn't think she was an unattractive. It was just a very unexpected situation, and I was not prepared for it. It's, okay. it's peculiar uh-huh. that they hired a female stripper to do a yeah. bachelorette party, yeah. but it's a it's good thinking. Uh, I support it. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good yeah, idea. Yeah. It opens some doors. Yeah, it's way less gross. Yeah. Anonymous, <laughs> thank you so much for the call. We appreciate listening to The Woody Show. 909 says, I am, uh, I am married. I'm in my early 40s. Recently wanted to explore with another woman. Oh. I invited a woman to a day spa, Greg. Oh, that's Ooh. nice. That's a good idea because, um, you know, a lot of... Taking your clothes That's off there. Right. Uh, we talked and teased each other the whole time. We got to spread mud on each other. Oh. <laughs> mud. We snuck yeah. into a shower together, started making out in there, and before you knew it, I was on my knees <gasps> doing my thing. Wow. Oh my God. This Prior is- to this, my only lesbian experience was kissing a uh, girl 20 years ago. Wow. Can we get her on the phone? I That's know. a good one. Can we, get, uh, can we get 909 on the... Uh, <laughs> On the horn? Yeah. Greg, that has everything you love in yeah. that story. That one's perfect. Yeah. I, I hope that the husband wouldn't mind if he found okay, yeah. out. See, right. that's, that's what we need, yeah. Right. Nine, 909, mm. uh, Morgan and, and Sammy, if you can get this uh, this accidental lesbian on the... Well, I, this would be an intentional uh, lesbian, I guess. Yeah, yeah but uh, day spa, the yeah, mud. Spa. Right. It's, it's perfect. You're going to do a mud bath. Yeah. you got to shower off. I'm sure it has a lot of questions, the, so if we can, uh, we'll be giving you a call here, uh, 909. Right. Mm. Uh, real quick, lesbian fun fact. As of today, no research has ever proven what causes lesbianism. What causes? But there were some <laughs> inconclusive studies that show increased levels of steroids provide a greater chance that your unborn child will be a lesbian. Oh, yeah? Wow. Hmm. Okay. And also, I think we can all agree that, uh, no offense, guys, but like female bodies are nicer to look at than male Absolutely. bodies. Absolutely. I agree. I'll agree with you a thousand percent. Let's say hi to uh, Jill. Good morning, Jill. Jill. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Uh, tell Greg about your most lesbian experience. Well, it was in summer. Uh, June, this past June, we went to Vegas with my husband, oh, and we met another couple at a bar. And uh, the couple asked us to come back. They were locals, so they asked us to come back to their place. Uh-huh. And once we were there, the husband was like, hey, Jill, can you do, do me a favor? And 
kiss my wife. So I kissed my <laughs> wife. Me a favor. Yes. And then <laughs> that, <rules. laughs> that led to uh, orally pleasuring each other. Oh, wow. So wow. The, and then the, the husbands were what? Just sitting there watching? They were. They were watching. My husband was losing his mind because that was never something he would thought he would see me do. <laughs> was wow. he was he like pissed or was he yeah. cool with it? No, he was super cool with it. <laughs> yeah, uh, of course. We've tried. We were, we're trying to do it now that we're back home, but oh. it's just hard because we have kids and jobs. Oh, so yeah. maybe another kids two days in the works. Yeah. So is this this the first <laughs> time you've ever done anything like that? Um, I had kissed a girlfriend like back in college, but nice. it was just. It nice. was just a dare. It wasn't anything like. Oh, on a dare. Super well, dare is good. Uh, yeah. See, this is a good another icebreaker. 10 out of 10, Greg. Right, like, don't discount a dare. That's yeah. great because you're still doing the deed. Now, did you and your husband ever swing before, do anything like that, or this is a total one off? Um, this was a one off, but since then we've um, started doing the hot wife thing with myself. So what? I've been the hot wife experience. Do you know what that is? No. no. <laughs> Um, so basically, we've learned that my husband likes to watch me with other men. And oh, other or, or men. Other oh, oh, I see. that part. Oh, okay. Too far. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a wean, that's a wean too far. He yes. does like to watch me with other women also, but yeah, I haven't that done I that solo yet. That's yeah. called hot, hot wifing. Yeah, I just always wonder how you... Hot wifing, how you, yes. How you so break I go the ice. solo and... What's that? I just wonder how you break the ice. You're You're on a vacation. You meet another couple... Next thing you know, boom, you're in their hotel room. You're making out with his wife at their request. Well, I love you. He's like, hey, do me a favor. Yeah, do Make me, out fa- with, do my me a favor with my wife. Yeah. <laughs> and did you enjoy it? Yeah. I, Obviously. I did enjoy it. It was, um, again, the oral pleasuring was not something. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And, sh- and she's like, well, just think about it being you. Oh. <laughs> I like, See, I mean, okay. that's a good okay. tip. See, that's I mean, interesting. You, you know what to do. I don't think I could do that. You couldn't? I wow. don't think so. You're no fun. God love you guys. <laughs> yeah. For, you know. Now, did, uh, did she reciprocate? She did. Oh, okay. Oh, and how was yeah, that? Was, was that, really that, that happened the first time? Yeah. See, now she's all she's all in. The hot wifing thing is, uh, is because uh, isn't that called uh-huh. cuck? Well, that's what yeah. I Yeah, that's what it is. That, well, that's just a different name. It is to a certain point. Yeah. Like, where my husband doesn't like to be degraded or anything like that. He just likes to know that other just guys like to watch desire some other me. Guy, yeah. And, yeah. Oh. Because wow. like, yeah. or I'll come home and show him videos and things like yeah, that. The so guys it definitely opened up a whole thing. Wow. Yeah. wow. The guys yeah. that get upset of like girl on girl action, like who cares about yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, you know, I wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, I, I get it. That's how it works for them. So yeah. Would you want to see the, your wife with a chick? I mean, if she wants to go with a chick, I'm not gonna get upset by it. Are you? Yeah. You're not afraid she's gonna like fall in love and leave you? I mean, if she does, yeah. she does. <laughs> you know, like, Jill, Jill, thank you, you so much for the call. Jill, Appreciate that was listening. Awesome. Thank you. You can't stop people okay, from doing that. Awesome. So now she loves it. I know. Yeah, yeah she got good. a taste for it. Oh, and yeah, now, yeah, literally. I yeah. wish I could be, not that I want to be in that situation per se, but I wish I could be that mellow about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. some people just. That cash. Like I think Greg really wants to be cash. a freak. He just can't bring right. himself to do yeah. it. I can't. You got to hear about others. I've been telling you forever. That's Greg is saying. a freak. <laughs> <laughs> he is right. a deviant. 877-44-WOODY. <laughs> That's 877-44-WOODY. Greg's Lesbian Stories. We have the girl who went to the day spa. Oh, great. Oh. And uh, it's Anonymous. Okay, good. Hello, Anonymous day spa lady. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 All right, Hello, so, show. So we we, uh, we got your text, and thank you very much for yeah, the text. Let me, uh, let me go back to the text. And a matter of fact, just in case... It might be better hearing you tell the story, uh-huh. uh, just in case people are just tuning in, right. and also to refresh Greg's memory. Right. Uh, tell Greg about this lesbian experience that you had at the day spa. Okay, so I took a lady friend to the day spa. Um, I figured it would be a great uh, way to just kind of uh, break the ice. You know, we're alone together, mm-hmm. uh, girl talk, and um, we got to talk about a lot of things, sexual things, sexual preferences, mm. and uh, we touch each other there, here and there, under nice. the water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got to the mud section, got to put mud on each other all over our bodies. Oh, wow. And That's so like once we were... <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Um, and uh, then so after... You know, we're all dirty and muddy, so we got to wash off, you right? Have to. Of course. It's so the law. we went to... The shower uh, together sneaked into one, um, just her and I, uh-huh. and, oh, you yeah. know, before you know it, we're in there making out, and, um, yeah, and got on my knees. So, it so- sa- <laughs> sorry, I gotta know, it sounds like this was kind of your plan all along. Do you right. think she knew that? 
Yeah. Uh, so, yes, yeah, she had an idea, too. We both wanted to explore. Oh, we both wanted to nice. explore. So that's why we thought, okay, let me, I'll take you to the, let's go to the day spa and just talk. Oh, <laughs> oh, talk. Yeah. Was she a friend, a colleague, or a yeah. uh, just Somebody that I had just, uh, I had met a few um, weeks back. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we were, I was attracted to her, and I've always wanted to explore this. Mm-hmm. I had never, the, the 20 years back, I kissed a female, a girl, um, and I liked it. Okay. I always knew I had a curiosity, never explored it. And I talked to my husband about it, and he's like, go for it. Go oh, for so it. you are married. Oh. So he knows that I am. This yes, I am. Absolutely. And he wished he was there. Well, yeah. <laughs> have, you gone, yeah. <laughs> have you gone back to the day spa, as it were? We haven't, no. But uh, we have gotten close oh. afterwards. Well, yeah. I, I mean, it begs the question, why haven't you day spa again? You know, I... I don't know, but we're definitely, we're, it's not off we the need table. to go. Yeah, let me ask no, you a question. No, not at all. Do, yes. do women have a spank bank? Hmm. Like a guy will have like, you know, maybe like, like an memory, experience yeah. or the, you know, some celebrity they're crushing on or whatever. And they'll think about that when it's alone time. That's a good do, question. do women have that? Like, would you, uh, would, would you think about this? Like if, or have you thought about this? Like when you're with yourself oh, or with your husband? Yes. Yeah, you do. Absolutely. Okay. I was, okay, so I true. was for three full months. I was. Sheets. I, I couldn't. Yeah. Wow. Couldn't wow. It was really impactful on <laughs> yeah. you. All right. Nice. It was. Yeah. It was because yeah. it was so hot. I like well, that I, she took agree. the lead. She's like, I know how to make this happen. That's great. Right. All right. Well, anonymous. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you guys. I love you guys. We I love. appreciate you listening. I mean, you really just made Greg's day. Yeah. Absolutely. And this kind of that's the perfect example of why I find it so exciting because they're for lack of a better word, more fluid with it, yes. more accepting yes. of it. Oh, speaking of which, there was uh, some some woman that called it. <laughs> we, we, I'm, I'm trying to think of how I could tell her. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, no. I could tell her I story. Know. I already know That's where you're so going. Good. Never yeah. Mind. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Such a good segue. I'm trying to think how I can tell the story. Uh, uh, all right. So she got <laughs> this is from the 214. She got drunk in college. Yeah. Uh huh. After the club, ended up making out with one of the friends, and they were doing stuff, and then this um, this friend this lady. ended mm. up uh, soaking this girl's car down. <laughs> so, <laughs> hosing it down. <laughs> ho- hosing it down. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, uh-huh. and uh, she says, I haven't been with any girl since. <laughs> that might oh, be traumatizing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, well, hey, uh, Gregory's awesome. lesbian oh, story. Good. Are you satisfied? Uh, the, I, I don't want to play favorites, but the spa one is my, <laughs> is yeah. my favorite. That's like you said, that's <laughs> like a movie. Favorite. That's like a movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One more lesbian fun fact. In the 1970s, the symbol of the lesbian was a lavender rhino. Good to know. Lavender Bring that back. Back. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, there's uh, so cool. Gregory's lesbian stories. Thank more you. What a show is next. Hang on. I was talking to Morgan during the break, and she was saying how she's disappointed because she has to answer the phones and she doesn't get to hear all the stories. She has to go back and listen right. on the podcast oh, yeah. to hear all the good lesbian mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And Greg's responses to them. That's what I want to hear. Yeah, that's the, she it's, wants the, the feedback. Right. Sometimes I don't respond because my jaw is kind of <laughs> open and I'm just right. listening like, oh, really? Uh, the uh. Drilling a little bit. Yeah, the spa one is one of the better ones I think we've ever, we've ever had. That was really sure. good. Yeah. It's, it's not always about like the the quantity. It's usually just the the yeah, quality right. of the story yeah, yeah. is what makes it. Yeah, because it wasn't off the cuff. You know, it was, it was planned it was out. Like oh yeah, yeah. premeditated. Yeah. 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 And did you notice the theme of everyone being like, "I haven't done this since that one time twenty years ago." Mm-hmm. Right. Like yeah, everyone right. had that little blip and they're back, baby. Right. Yeah. A lot of people have uh, thoughts or whatever about the husband. Of the mm. one girl, yeah, you know where they went to Vegas. Yeah, um, we can get some of that feedback on the text over to two two ninety seven. But again, uh, just an appreciation shout out to uh, to all the people who shared the stories, whether it was on the phone or calling in on the text. There's always at least one. <laughs> there's always at least one woman that says, "Man, I've never really thought about it, but this got me thinking about it." Oh, and if you've been inspired uh, and you end up going through with it, just tuck it away in the back of your mind for the next time we do right, yeah. a round of uh, Greg's lesbian stories. Or shout us out on happened. social. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> Greg, are you like titillated? Or are you just like fascinated? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. yeah, I do know what you mean. I think there's some titillation. Yeah. Do you have yeah. a tingle in your dingle? Not really a physical reaction. 
Mm. To be honest, mm-hmm. but it's more maybe yeah, maybe a no, fascination. More fascination. Yeah, more of a fantasy thing. Because like a, a lot of people are asking, like, is Greg uh, interested? Well, I mean, you, th- these guys have seen it. When I'm drunk, for example, <laughs> oh, he so loves straight, grabbing boobs. I start yeah. leaning straight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, interesting. We call it getting Gregged right. yeah. because it's happened a number of times. for like, <laughs> that's a thing of the past. Like, no, no. And I mean, when was it's, the last time you it's wanted, wanted and celebrated. <laughs> yeah. So, like, oh yeah, we have <laughs> listeners that come up to Greg. Like, Greg, you can grab my Please boobs. Grab Greg, I want to be Greg. Greg, I be Greg so bad. Yeah. He's got a thing with boobs. <laughs> yeah, huh. I kind of do. Yeah. Okay. And I distinctly remember the first time I uh, Gregged somebody that had implants because mm. I, I never knew how yeah. hard they are. Yeah, it's crazy. That's weird. I mean, it's nice, but it's strange. It's, it is strange. Yeah. Kind of like a guy right. who's gay like Greg being <laughs> yeah. so into boobs I know. and lesbians. <laughs> uh, also, what is wrong with me? There, nothing. The Woody Show. We're uh, basking in the afterglow of uh, Greg's <laughs> lesbian <laughs> stories. A good round. Uh, 562 says, this is probably the one time I'm actually upset at the segment. Oh. I love the lesbian stories. I'm okay with it, but these stories are still cheating. I guess I'm just a prude who believes in commitment to your partner. That said, I still love you guys. No crossroads for me. Well, but well all their partners of, were aware. Yeah, right? they're into it. Yeah. yeah, it didn't sound like that was uh, something they were doing behind anybody's back. Yeah. Uh, question from the 626. Does Sammy's face look disgusted like when she's listening to the Billy Irish song Lunch? <laughs> oh, good question. You hate all the lesbian stories. I mean, I don't care what people do. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I was asking. If the women... question is, are you a fan yeah. of the activity? Yeah. Am I a fan? Like, am I doing that? No. No. no but do no. you like? I know. I'm not a fan of hearing about it. The same way I'm not a fan oh, of the song oh, Lunch. Okay. I just don't yeah, want to okay. hear about it. All right, it's icky. Right. Yeah. <laughs> gross. Um, <laughs> uh, I asked if uh, women had a spank bank. You know, like all guys do. Someone said it's called a flick bank. A few people texted oh, over. Okay. Mm. Flick bank. I've never heard that term either. No. Flick bank. Um, the guy. Who's into the hot wifing thing? Right. The uh, the husband is into the hot wifing thing. Somebody said, "Dog, this chick's husband is the definition of a loser." <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I think that's going into a different territory. It's not even on topic. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Like not even part of. Well, I mean, the, like, because she was talking about how she brings videos home. So, like, I'm guessing oh, that Jesus. she goes yeah. out. Yeah, and meets these guys. It's not even in front of him. Yeah. Oh, so she goes out and she lame. does these things and gets photos and pictures that's, and brings them home to him. Yeah. Which that's, I mean. That's, but if they like it. That's the thing cares. I was asking. Like, what's the difference? Because, like, uh, somebody said cucking is if the husband doesn't get any action. Which is, sounds like what's happening yeah, there. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's what it says. Because yeah. the, 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 the couple was um, uh, the one from Vegas. Or the one who went to Vegas right. had that experience, then wanted to do something with, and so it turns out now he's into the hot wifing thing, which is interesting because isn't she the one that said? But he's not into being demeaned, though. I think a lot of you would well, think that's, that's demeaning. Yes, maybe well, that's an element of it because that's why she was using the term hot wife instead oh, of a cuck because I a cuck see the label. is kind of yeah. Uh, you don't, yeah, you don't want to be labeled as that, even though it's exactly what it is. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Just uh, rebrand it. You want yeah. to be rebranded? Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. Do you want another fun fact from lesbiannews.com? Yes. Oh, More do than we? Anything in the okay. World. So if this is from lesbiannews.com. While butch and dyke are common phrases today for lesbians, back in the 1930s, oh, common terms were cat or Apache. Apache. Okay. 1940s, they're <laughs> collar and tie. Oh, uh, I like that. In the 1960s. Pansy without a stem. Oh my! <laughs> She's a pansy without a stem. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah! Look at that. She's a pansy without a stem. Oh. And, then, and then the first lesbian magazine ever was called Vice Versa. Mm. I like that. Yeah. Oh, those are some fun facts, Greg. Yeah. Thank you very much. You got it. So oh, fun. and also with that, the the name like a, that a woman goes by if she's really uh, masculine is what's your stud name. Stud name. Yeah, uh-huh. that's another one. I've never heard. Of. Yeah. Learning so much this morning. <laughs> I know. This is educated. This has been yeah. eye opening. All right, more Woody show next. Hang on. <laughs>